The best recommendation in Shibuya. All you can eat Wagyu Yakiniku. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This video is about an all you can eat Wagyu Yakiniku restaurant in Shibuya. We'll introduce 14 dishes, including premium Wagyu and our recommended combination menu. So please use this as a guide when you visit. It's a video that will be helpful for your trip to Japan, so please watch it until the end. Now, let's get started! We have arrived at Shibuya Station. This time, we'll introduce these six categories. Alright, let's head to our destination. From the Hachiko Gate, which is the exit most people use at Shibuya Station, head towards the Miyamasuzaka exit. It's about a 3-minute walk from the Miyamasuzaka exit. The place we will introduce this time is on the 5th floor of the building next to the entrance of Miyashita Park. By the way, it's also close to the plaza with the Hachiko statue where many tourists take photos. It's about a 3-minute walk from there, so it's a very convenient location. Now, let's head to the restaurant on the 5th floor. This is Butcher's Kitchen Shibuya Miyamasuzaka, the restaurant we're introducing this time. It's a place where you can enjoy all-you-can-eat Wagyu. This entire floor is dedicated to this restaurant, so it's spacious. There are about 100 seats, so you can feel comfortable coming with a large group. This restaurant only uses A4 and A5 grade Japanese black wagyu. You can enjoy premium wagyu, carefully cut by a chef, at a reasonable price. By the way, this restaurant has another branch in the Dogenzaka area of Shibuya. The Dogenzaka branch is a bit far from the station and the interior is a bit small, so we recommend the Miyamasuzaka branch that we visited this time. At the end of the video, we'll share information about other branch locations and how even international tourists can easily make reservations. There are also some points to note for the all you can eat, so don't miss them until the end. Alright, let's start with an explanation of the all-you-can-eat course. This restaurant offers three all-you-can-eat courses. The cheapest one is 4,500 yen, but it doesn't include Wagyu. The 6,000 yen and 8,000 yen courses both include Wagyu. Only the 8,000 yen course include Wagyu Extra Premium Reps. This time, we chose the 8,000 yen course with 103 types of dishes for all you can eat. By the way, all you can drink soft drinks are included in all the all you can eat courses. For an additional fee of 1,500 yen, you can enjoy all you can drink with a selection of over 50 types of alcohol. There are paper aprons available at the drink area, so please feel free to use them. Now, let's order our food. You can order by scanning the QR code on the table with your smartphones. In addition to Japanese, you can change the language to English or Chinese. Most dishes have photos, so it's easy to order. This time, we'll introduce 14 recommended dishes. First, we'll start with the ribs. In this course, you'll be served three types of Wagyu ribs first. These are Wagyu Extra Premium Ribs, Butcher's Delicious Ribs, and Wagyu Ribs. We'll start by grilling the Wagyu Extra Premium Ribs, which are included only in the highest course. It's a high-quality Wagyu, so it has a beautiful marbling of fat. It has a wonderful aroma of meat. 
Let's dip it in sauce and eat. When you put it in your mouth, it melts away. It has some fat, but it's premium wagyu, so the aftertaste is refreshing. Let's grill butcher's delicious ribs and wagyu ribs. There are two types of yakiniku sauces, and the sweet one is also recommended. Both meats have less fat compared to the previous ones. They don't have tendon, and they are tender and juicy. If you like ribs with fat, we recommend the highest course. Now, let's introduce some recommended side dishes and more. In this restaurant, there is rice, soup, and curry at the drink area. And all of these are also all you can eat. The soup changes daily, and on the day we visited, it was a wakame seaweed and egg soup. It has a gentle and refreshing taste. The rice is made in Japan and has a sweet flavor. Let's pour plenty of curry over the rice and eat. This curry also contains wagyu. The spicy aroma is amazing. The beef is simmered for a long time, so it's melted and tender. The umami of wagyu has soaked into the curry. It's not too spicy and has a rich flavor similar to a demigla sauce. After replacing the grill grate, let's introduce the next dish. The next one is the sweet potato and butter. It has a sweet and nice aroma of butter. The sweet potatoes have a moist and smooth texture. The melted butter is sweet and creamy. We'll introduce dishes that combine this menu item with others later. Next, we'll have seafood ahijo. There are scallops, shrimp, and mushrooms. The aroma of garlic increases your appetite. The scallops have a plump texture and they are addictive. The shrimp has a strong sweetness. A subtle spiciness from the chili pepper adds a nice accent. Next, we'll have cold noodles. It's a classic noodle dish at Japanese yakiniku restaurants. Compared to ramen noodles, it has a chewy texture. There is a subtle sourness from the vinegar, giving it a refreshing taste. The small size makes it easy to eat. Next, we'll have garlic rice. It has a nice aroma of soy sauce and garlic. There is plenty of ground meat in it, and it has a rich flavor. The texture of the garlic chips add a nice accent. It's as delicious as a high-end teppanyaki restaurant. Now, we'll introduce four recommended yakiniku dishes. First, let's start with the diced steak. This beef is also wagyu, so it has beautiful marbling of fat. It's thicker compared to ribs, so it's satisfying to eat. The richness of the fat fills your mouth, making it delicious. It's thick, but it's tender and melts in your mouth. Next, we'll grill some beef tongue. Beef tongue is expensive, so not many all-you-can-eat places include it. In this restaurant, they cut it into thick slices, so it's really luxurious. It's recommended to eat beef tongue with salt and lemon. The crunchy texture is addictive. It's juicy and has a rich meaty flavor. It's thick and satisfying to eat. The next one is Wagyu Geta ribs in a pot. Geta ribs are the meat between the bones and have a nice texture. They are seasoned with miso, so they have a pleasant aroma. Let's eat them without dipping in sauce. The sweetness of miso and the juicy meat are a perfect match. The seasoning is strong, so it's recommended to eat it with rice. With this meat, 
You can eat as much rice as you want. Next, we will have Wagyu Yaki Shabu. It's beautiful marbled meat with fat. It's surprising that this meat is also all you can eat. Wagyu Yaki Shabu is enjoyed by dipping it in a sauce made with ponzu, which has a stressy flavor and grated daikon radish. When you put it in your mouth, it melts away. With the ponzu and grated daikon radish, you can enjoy even the fatty meat with a refreshing taste. It's incredibly delicious! Lastly, we'll order dessert. This time, we chose vanilla ice cream. It's delicious as it is, but we'll add a little twist. We'll put the sweet potatoes we had earlier on top of the ice cream. And let's drizzle plenty of melted butter on it. The piping hot sweet potatoes make the vanilla ice cream melt and it's more creamy. The combination of milk and butter is fantastic. Please give it a try. Finally, we will share tips on how to make reservations and some points to note about the all you can eat. In addition to the two locations in Shibuya, Butcher's Kitchen has five other branches within Tokyo. It's also located in Shinjuku Kabukicho, a place frequented by many international tourists. There is also a branch located a four-minute walk from Ueno Station, and each one is located in easily accessible places. We have included a link in the description box to the official website where tourists without a Japanese phone number can make reservations. It's better to make a reservation before visiting, especially on weekends and holidays because it can get crowded. The courses introduced this time are all you can eat, but be aware of additional charges for excessive leftovers. When you come to Japan, definitely try delicious Wagyu. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.